Uh, but Tio Joe, who else? Yeah, me and Joe. There that's you that's go. pretty much it. Yeah, two man operation. So, uh, yeah, I'm proud to see how it's coming along. Yeah, it's very it's cool. Good stuff. Yeah. All right, so we've got uh, CSMS playing Little Mac versus Heroes Pikachu. Yep. Okay. This is going to be some hype stuff. Right? I can't Hero. wait to see who we go in here. I, um, rather, what stage we're going to see right off the bat, because I feel like that's going to dictate a lot of the match, too. Yeah, for sure. Um, it, you know, it comes down to a neutral. Like, they, yeah, strike, they strike to a neutral, and yeah. then, you know, you counterpick um, alternately every round. Okay, yeah. okay. By the way, you're locked into your character choice for the whole day. Mm -hmm. So people who play multiple mains, they don't add yeah. any, like, extra value to the team by being able to counterpick gotcha. or something. It's just, like, you've got to We're looking through. for raw skill here. We need to make sure that you could step up against multiple matchups. Yep, yep. That okay. anti-meta mindset of uh, counterpicking each character, definitely not going to apply here. Yeah, no, no. Anti would be pretty upset <laughs> <laughs> if he had to play and lock himself into one character. Uh, got a little button check. That's what I would imagine. Yep, making sure those buttons work. Little recovery attempts and everything like that. Yep. I don't think any... Any sane Mac would just be running straight off the edge to start a match? No. <laughs> Unless, he, you know, he just likes to live on the edge. Hey, you know. Just a dangerous player. I've heard more than my fair share of Mac say YOLO, so. <laughs> Very true. Very true. I mean, dude, sometimes it works out. Like the, the crazy offstage stuff with Mac. You never want it to work out, though. It's always, uh, if you're the guy fighting the Mac and, and you let him get that, away with that. That, that, that. All right, anyway. Style. So, yeah, we've got NJIT. I believe this is their first semester com uh, competing in S4C, whereas Brooklyn College has played in all three seasons. Wow. Their, their okay, third entry, so we yeah. got some seasoned veterans right now. Yeah, we do. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited to see how these sets pan out, man, because we've got five different schools from the tri-state area. And we're opting for Battlefield to start yep. us off here. Okay, uh, I guess that makes sense. That's where they were doing the button mm -hmm. check. That was already decided. Okay, so already uh, CSMS has been walking uh, mm. Hero into the corner with just Little Max normals on the ground, and Pikachu doesn't have the range to contend with that. So he's got to really respect Little Max buttons here, make sure he whiffs something. Yeah, like that up smash. I mean, yeah, he's zero to seventy-two blind. right off the bat. Look at this. There you go. All off of edge pressure here, just solid edge guarding and making sure that he's getting at least the max smash. Look at those numbers add up. Jab to down smash too. Not something you see every day, but if your opponent's like. Right Ooh. about to land, and you catch him with that jab, you can get so much reward after if they air dodge into the ground. I couldn't agree more. And another thing that's always scary to me, Max's ability to two frame. I know he's not any better than other characters besides having nice hitboxes, but it just always feels like he's got such a good opportunity to get that two frame in there. Yeah, very probably, scary. Because there's a lot of active frames on his down smash. Yes. So, the, mm -hmm. you know, it kind of opens up that window. It's mm -hmm. not just two frames. As long as you input that down smash within a certain window, you can land it. Yeah, and some of Max's kit, man, just the, the, the speed and the armor, very, very scary, especially when you're a little character like Pikachu's got to get up close and personal. He's also got confirms even into the high percent. Ooh. Wow. Kind of an upsetting way to drop the first stock for Hero here. Oh, okay. I was going to say, it's not looking so Ooh. good for a Hero with that KO punch online and down a stock. But it's looking like CSMS is just content to try to box Pikachu out using his superior range on the ground. I'm very happy there. He missed uh, two conversions on down tilts, but still kept his spacing. Still started playing footsies and getting right in there in the neutral. So I'm, I'm enjoying his style of Mac right now. Not getting antsy, not running away, just holding his ground and really taking what he can get. Hero trying to play this patient approach to the matchup, but... Oh, there it is. Just a few miscalculations are getting him bopped by these heavy yeah. hits from Mac. And those down smashes, I mean, you know, PG stats real quick. He has definitely converted real hard. Yeah, he's got a, a pretty good ratio on those, but oh, of course, whiffing two right now. Just yeah, of course, commentators curse. Gotta make the, the stats look So wrong. good at that. Okay, and we've got a big situation here for Hero. No, mm. not able to take Ooh. the stock. Actually, just SDs misjudging his recovery oh, distance there, gracious. I guess. Yeah, that was, that was kind of a shame. Especially because... Oh, oh, wow, hello, okay. All right, able to steal one real quick. Well, there you go. I mean, that's taking advantage of Max Recovery. And a couple more of those from Hero, we could have a very different game coming in here. And even though it looks like they've got a lot of stocks in the bank, you know, 13 to 14 remaining for each there team. There we go. Those are going to evaporate quickly. Now Hero kind of finding his groove here. Mm-hmm. Anticipating got the rollback, but didn't give it to him. Got that one opener and was able to start opening up. But Mac, yet again, just able to sit there and throw that damage right back at Pikachu as fast as... Pikachu even thought he had it. Shield. Super low. Yo, as DA would say, man. The m and <laughs> Yeah, exactly, right? m and on that shield right now. Okay, and he's able to roll past the rapid jabs from Mac. Should be ready Shout to Shout out to little that. character frames right there. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Oh, Makes opportunity. Quick attacks. Oh, very smart by Mac, but not out of it yet. Oh, okay. Socks him upward. That <laughs> up angled up, uh, forward smash, I'm sorry, actually does a little bit more knockback. Sacrifice a little bit of forward range for it, though. Oh, goodness. Hero right now. Definitely yeah. 
Not looking good for him. Biting an uphill Ooh, battle. We we're going to see the KO punch. It goes through shields. There you go, but... Oh! Oh, wow. Can't stay blocking forever. Oh, man. And as CSM has with a dominant finish. As I wanted to give the good presence of mind compliment right there, as he was able to make sure that he actually shielded through this pivot F-tilt that we saw right there. Ended up right there. Made a mistake. Dropped that shield. Mm. Either that or I mean, that could have been a shield step, to be honest with you. He was definitely... No, no. The KO punch is unblocked. Oh, I always mix that up. That's yeah, yeah. on me. Sorry yep. about that, everybody. So Shows how much Mac I've actually fought. Yeah. Hold on one sec. Just want to get uh -oh, the, uh, the social media. No, no, right the, the official <laughs> ruling on what we put for me is. Oh, okay. Always got to revert back these me's. Okay. Yo, by the way, you guys know these are 1111. One, one, one. There we go. And the ruling on the field, me is 111. Just one. making sure. I just had to check. I was like, I'm pretty sure we put 111. Yep. Okay, but that's hype, though. We've got a me player coming in. Yo, guys, can I get the rosters just between games? Or, like, during the games? So, uh, for Devin? Was that me Gunner by chance? Or what think, was. I gonna yeah, I was going to say, because we saw him going right now. Nice. I'll give him back to you, like, when There we go. So, we got a couple more sheets coming in here. There we go, yeah. All right, so we've got Proton's, Pro Tom stepping <laughs> up for Brooklyn College. Professional Tom in the building. Actually, you want to just write all their names? Yeah. Passing all the information down the line here. Is there another me on the pick? I, I do. I think so. Oh, no. It's not. Yeah, no. It's. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's the Grusinator. Oh, okay, okay. I get it. I, I see. They're just. Okay. He was just asking not for this match. All right, all right. So it's not going to be me Gunner coming up yet, but we do have a me Gunner in the back on this team. Oh, yeah, I, I see him now. Now I know what he looks like. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so it's going to be the Grusinator. Yep. Picking Bayonetta, a character who was once very controversial. Yes. Now uh, everyone seems to be pretty okay with her. Yeah, I mean, that's what happens when you get a, that, that toned down. Yeah, but you get like six nerfs. Yeah. Okay, so CSMS holding on to two of his stocks from the first match. Very good. Yeah, pretty impressive, I gotta say. And as we said, you know, they, you can never count the little Mac out. Definitely shifting the matchup in a way I had not seen it before. Great usage of down smash to keep covering ledges. Built up damage very quickly. Left that Pikachu hero very much on tilt. Now, one thing I'm kind of surprised about is that NJIT is not playing uh, HBA Riz. Okay. Who... I know when to NJIT. I'm almost 100% <laughs> sure that that's where he went. But I, I don't know. Maybe he just wasn't contacted by these guys. Like maybe it could they just happen. Don't know each other, you so. know. Yeah. After I should definitely give him the, uh, like, the hey, reach hey, out. Guys. Yeah. And I think uh, Riz graduated, but alumni of up to one year. All right. Are still out. Now are we straight into this, or we got? I would imagine there we go. Yeah, he's so. got an SD. I yep. saw. Yep. All right, 14 stocks to 12 in favor of NJIT. Their first time on the collegiate circuit, unless my memory is failing. There we here. go. And the countdown from everyone hanging out right behind these two. Oh. Ooh, almost just going for the big stuff right off the bat. The double down tilt, which does combo for quite a while, especially uh, against characters who have, like, the uh, the physics to fall mm -hmm. into it. Bayonetta being both very tall and kind of a fast faller. Uh, she'll get caught by that for sure. And Grusinator definitely smart enough to not air dodge into those uh, F smashes at all. A common misconception getting down tilted multiple times mm -hmm. trying to watch out for it. Especially a character like Bayonetta who has so many options to stay airborne. Mm -hmm. You know, she's got her up B, side B, even witch time. Yet again, CSMS just all over this ledge though. People have, he, he is the gatekeeper right now. Not yeah. giving anyone an opportunity to get over that ledge. He's the St. Peter of the yeah. state right now. It's like a little bit of the Gandalf the Gray. Yeah, you exactly. shall not pass. Oh, I yep, was there it say, is again, that's a right there. Grab. Yeah, CSMS just all over it. Man. Banished yet again, and there we go. Stock lead gone. Yeah, and he doesn't even have to fear the witch twist hitboxes that poke through the stage because he's got super armor on his down smash. So you see a player like Salem usually like can plank against mm -hmm. even top players who know how to punish an edge oh. grab, but it's just because Bayonetta's up B is really annoying from that position. It doesn't matter for this character. And are we going to see another KO punch from CSMS? I'm loving the fact that he held on to it throughout all that. He got strung up, clear through, and just ended up sitting there like, I'm still hanging out. Oh, oh, wow. Just Very a little bit too slow on that fair three. Yep. He could have maybe picked another option to try to extend the combo after fair one, but it doesn't matter. It is a second too late there, and yet again, just finding himself really trying to make sure he gets off that ledge quick because he's so close to getting it. Mm, that's going to kill off the top. Mm. 
This little Mac is on fire right now. NJIT looking so good. And just getting every little bit he can get too consistently as we see right there. This man converts. All right, this is quite the runaway. Only one stock lost on their team so far. Oh, and that's exactly what I was telling you about. Yep. You can't make that mistake. I know, and it's crazy because Bayonetta just has so many answers to that, but it's looking like the fear is really starting to come out from Brucinator. Oh, okay. Now that's going to be a... Okay, all right, there we go. So we still have an opportunity to get to the ground. Okay. But got air dodging himself. Yeah. Yeah, Bayonetta, just such a hard hitter with some of her raw hits, especially those smashes, man. Smashes and back air. Don't even need all those crazy combos off the top. You can just get the job done. And with this being Cruz, I was going to say, don't be too worried about it. I didn't want to see him press that at all. I didn't want to see CSMS press it. He had the lead percent-wise. Bayonetta had to press, and with it being Cruz format, you never have to press that yep, situation. Nope. You never have to approach it. Exactly. You're, you're going to get that percent all back in full when you start the next game. So let's go. CSMS eating through here. Just lunchables, man. Staying on the sticks. <laughs> Staying on. All right. So hot who, hands. Hot hands. Who is going to come in next from NJ? I'm sorry, from Brooklyn College. They've got on their team left, they have Infinite's Charizard, Four Sky and Fresh's mm -hmm. Lucas, and Protom's Me Gunner. I think Protom is the carry on this team. Uh, he comes out to Smash Tag quite a bit. He does pretty well with his Me Gunner. Um, and you know, I, I don't know how so the some interesting matchups here, though, because it's it's hard nonetheless too. You know, Lucas, I'm not too well aware, but with the way that we have CSMS playing right now, Lucas could be a very hard choice to make because he he's tearing through characters that are in that light, you know, like mid range aerial battle. Whereas Charizard might give him a little bit more of the edge just because he can get silly flamethrower gimps and setups, as we've seen from other Charizards, right. on a character with as weak of recovery as Mac has. Right, but also Charizard's a huge target. This he's is true. Be a, just a combo magnet. I much. could definitely see how much he just hits is hard and is a little bit better of a gimping opportunity that I'm seeing with Lucas and me Gunner. Right. I could be easily underestimating the Lucas, but at the same point, with the way that CSMS is playing, it's going to be very hard to get him off the stage. Very yeah. hard. So he's definitely been a conundrum for um, for Brooklyn College. Yep. Yeah. And I've noticed that Lucas is actually one of the most popular characters in the Collegiate. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure what it is. Do we have any more Lucases today? I mean, even last back season in, we had like I, 30. I was Lucases. even back in Brawl days though. Lucas was a popular character, especially amongst people that were not fully influenced by the competitive community. So, right, right. You know, like I, I yeah, definitely that's what you see a lot of. Yeah, in, you know, the they, and that's that's what's going to happen because people want to play their character and they're going to do the best that they can with it. They're repping their college and they're going to see what they can do matchup wise. But yeah, but you know. There are a lot of these college teams with either hidden killers or actually like well-known established top players on them. Well, so I mean, I could definitely back that. There was all sorts of times when I was bouncing college to college, whether I was in Queens College, Stony Brook, all over the place. It was There was plenty of places where you just bump into people and all of a sudden you're like, whoa, hey, yeah, you guys like, know what the hell's going on here. Like, I thought I had things going on. Yeah, you'd be surprised like how far the reach of the competitive mm -hmm. scene has gotten, especially oh, yeah. in recent years, man. And that's one of the things I love about stuff like hosting the Smash 4 mm -hmm. Collegiate because you get to see... Your average Joe, for all intents and purposes, to the competitive community. Well, you're doing the call and all smashers, you know? Exa you, get, exactly, you get the yeah, crowds yeah. in. Anyone who plays, man, you don't have to be a great player. It's just like, you come out here, you represent your school, and if you do well and make it far, then it's even better, you know? There you go. Like, I envision a world in which schools are proud of their Smash teams because mm -hmm. of something like this, you know? Well, it's starting to pick up here in the U.S. I mean, obviously, it's not as prominent as it is over in Asia, but it's right. definitely something that is going on, and there's a lot more pride to be held now because there's a lot more limelight to share. Right. Yeah, and I mean... We're nationwide with this, man. Since there you season go. one, you know, it's been it's been in all the uh, regions of the U.S. and a little bit of Canada too. So, guys, if you're watching and you know you go to college and you play Smash Four, head on over to Smash.gg/s4c. There you go. You can check it out, Smash Four Collegiate. Um, you could sign up. There's still plenty of events. Um, a couple regions went this weekend, but if you're from a region that hasn't played yet, there's still si time to sign up. You can get your school involved and, yeah, register for this and play against some really amazing players that you've probably never heard of, too. And right. something told me. Yeah, that infinite. You, you know, in with the Charizard. All right, so here we go. I think we're going to, I think we're kicking right off. Yep, there's the countdown one, and we're in this right now. So as I was saying, I was hoping from Infinite's Charizard to play solid defense, definitely not run into too many of Mac's traps because a lot of these approaches on Mac are going to be hard, but Charizard has some range and definitely some choices here. So I think he can keep Mac at that mid-range, really win footsies and keep that stage control in more of a neutral situation and eventually just push him to clear off. 
Right, and also as... And that's what I was waiting to see too, Rock Smash. Very huge option here is it's Charizard's major form of armor outside of side B, which is very over the middle. Yeah, also keep in mind that as time passes, right, they're going to be sending in stronger and stronger players, presumably. Like, a yes. lot of a lot of teams mm -hmm. go with this bottom up. Um, ooh. ooh, and he hung out and tried to just, oh, man, and that's a hard situation yet again. Wow, you know what? That's particular. Oh, my God, another stock just evaporated. Oh, wow. Little Mac is a cruise demon. Yeah, and I was going to say, CSMS right now, I mean, let me tell you, this guy's on some other stuff. This man came in today and had no other intention besides demonstrating to people they don't know what is in store for them when they get in the bracket today. Woke up on the wrong side of the bed or something, man. This, this guy's is angry. ridiculous. Oh, okay, whips the counter. Man. And you know, Infinite was playing so smart okay, there. And okay. he, had a, he had a lot of opportunities, but that second stock was the absolute epitome of the fear of the Mac matchup. That, that changing everything was so scary. All right, Infinite Man dropping two stocks for Brooklyn College. He's kind of, you could see the disappointment. So in his that's, face. that was Mugutu. a grand total of eight. He ate eight, eight stocks. stocks. My man with, was hungry. With Little Mac. Yes. The small Makito. <laughs> All right. Maybe, 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 possibly. Okay, so now NGIT in a position to counter pick here. Finally, yeah, finally dropping their first exactly. Player. And you know, now this is going to be this is going to be a nightmare coming up for Brooklyn College. It is. You know what I was saying? Uh, how all the teams, or usually teams, will go with this this bottom up strategy mm -hmm. where they start with their weakest player. All right, how many stocks can you get? You know, whatever. It's like yeah. on the cake for for the strong guys in the back, right? So. Assuming NGIT was following the same formula and CSMS is one of the weaker mm -hmm. players, I'm scared. Oh, but of course. I don't know if they started with a with one of their strongest guys, mm -hmm. and now it's going to be kind of all downhill from here. So we got to see what they what they put up next because it still could be within the realm of possibility for. Brooklyn and College. I also wonder how much matchup knowledge played into that because to be honest, Mac is a character that can run absolute train all over you if you're not yeah. aware of how to fight him. And you know, definitely looking at this being a collegiate, some of these guys are probably, or I would say, certainly not lucky enough to have a Mac of <laughs> CSMS's skill level right, right. at their college. So it definitely would catch. It caught me like I cannot explain enough personal experience. It caught me really off guard in pools, and I think we saw a little bit of that at least in one of those matches. Yeah, Little Mac is definitely one of those characters you got to have the hands-on, mm -hmm. no pun intended, experience with him. There's a reason he ran for glory for so long. You know, I exactly. mean, barring all the bad Macs, there definitely was something there to be noted. Yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just surprising. Like sometimes collegiate players are like brand new. You know, they don't mm -hmm. don't really like have a lot of experience with the tournament scene. But more often than not, I would say these guys, you know, they know the general conception of the tier list. They know like who's good in the, like player wise. Well, and, and that's stuff. not lie either. I mean, yeah. it's college time nonetheless too. So if they're in college, I mean, not everyone. I mean, someone's got to be a good student. But these guys are going ham, fests, everything. You know, if you're dorming with some of these guys, they'd be out there oh, yeah. grinding all day every Watching day. The Twitch so, streams, you know, you know, yeah. So we've seen that all over the place. So I would not doubt it at all that these guys are. Definitely some lab monsters in here. I like seeing, you know, incentive be created for these guys to come out who don't mm -hmm. usually play. Okay, we've got a Wii Fit trainer coming up. That's going to be McNasty coming out for NJIT. And a lot of the matchups are digging out here. Wii Fit trainer and Charizard. Definitely right? not something I've seen bumped undo too many times in bracket. Barring MDVA, I'm sure that we probably had Apostle playing TK a couple times and so on and so oh, forth. Oh, yeah, yeah. Apostle does mean Charizard. Yes. Drive Yoshi for Charizard. What a world. I mean, hey, you know, sometimes you just got to go back to what you know. And he was a Pokemon trainer player, and Charizard isn't too far off. He's just better. <laughs> yeah, he's better than he was in Brawl, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Truthfully, there's no way around that. Back when side B was Rock Smash. Yeah, and <laughs> down B was, uh, I'm going to switch to the right Pokemon. Yeah, down B was, <laughs> become a top tier character. <laughs> okay, so we've got... With two minutes on the clock. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we've got Infinite versus McNasty. All right, I think we have a little bit of uh, rule talk here. I think they're looking for bands. Yeah, I'm just... Uh... He will let you know. <laughs> Checking the rulings right now. No, no bands. No bands. Yes. Full stage list, no bands. Yep, full stage list, no bands. What's good, guys? That's how it is. Ruthless out here in these collegiate streets. Yeah. Streets Collegiate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Street School of Hard Knocks yeah, signed yeah. up this semester. It's pretty hype. But all right, we're getting right in here. Charizard going to go bye-bye. There we Twice. go. Twice. Yeah, oh, I know. Yep. Well aware. That KO punch, man. It's just like a win more button. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Well, people ain't playing that mid-range. Huh? Yeah. And I love it. There we go. So we're straight off into it here. 
12 stocks to 7 though. Infinite really has his work cut out for him here. And depending on how McNasty handles this with Wii Fit Trainer, we could see, you know, a very slow passive game and mm -hmm. he's just going to be holding onto these stocks, getting a lot of heals. Or we could just see maybe an aggressive slaughterhouse gone wrong. I would love to see Broken College turn this around, make it a little closer. Now, I can see Infinite fighting his way in here, but it definitely is going to be a bit of an uphill battle. Wii Fit Trainer is very good at standing her ground, very good at finding ways in slowly and building up residual damage well. So. Yeah, exactly. She's a very durable character mm -hmm. in a three stock to one contest. I think, you know, the, the odds are against you mm -hmm. if you're and fighting against Using her. an option like Side B here is actually going to hinder you a lot because you're going to eat a lot of additional percent there that's going to make things hard. Oh, oh, oh the ST. And that was a rough situation. I definitely think there was another jump in there unless it was lost. And um, I would imagine a misclick put him down there. Seeing a rando spike like that is definitely not what I'm sure my my man's opinion was of how to recover. I think he jumped accidentally when he ran off the stage. Yeah, instead of doing uh -huh, his first yep. jump. Yeah. And then he got the dare in there too, which was just an absolute oh Yeah, so fat finger moment. <laughs> So now we've got 12 stocks to 6. Mm -hmm. Brooklyn College is down half the amount of stocks to their opponents, and it's not looking good. But anything is possible, man, especially if they're like saving a really strong anchor for That's, last. Yeah, I, that is something that you're really going to have to hope for here. Mm -hmm. Hanging out right here. Uh, right, yeah, Lucas has right and Lucas now, remain so. for Brooklyn College. And I know uh, Proton, who actually is sitting down right now, is I believe their strongest player. So we're gonna see a show okay. from a character there you guys go. usually don't get to watch. Mm -hmm. And I love the opportunity for rivalries to be created here. That's definitely what I'm enjoying. It's so cool because of the fact that they come out here and you know, everyone has their views about what happens when you lose on stream, but I think that it's very motivating for a lot of these guys. They have a lot of time to practice, a lot of effort they put into this. No, no one rests easy after a loss, so I want to see what happens here and how this team responds before it actually is lights out. Right, and if Brooklyn College goes home here to NGIT, you know, next year they're going to come back and be yep. like, all right, we got to get NGIT. Like, our goal is to make it to them in the bracket, or, you know, if we play them first again, then just win this time. All right, so we had a little charge up right there in the beginning of it. Started with yep. DBZ fight. Gentleman's rule. Yeah. <laughs> Take a couple episodes yeah, to you charge know. your laser. <laughs> okay, and we're seeing this really defensive style from both players. I'm not surprised at all, but yes, one of the unique advantages that Me Gunner has in this matchup is that she's got a counter. Whereas we fit, or I'm sorry, not a counter, a reflector. Yes, there we go. Yeah. Whereas we fit trainer doesn't. So mm -hmm. you're just going to see pretty much all those projectiles that we fit wants to throw at you get sent right back and then met with some more projectiles from the gunner. Who can also use the momentum burst from uh, forward air to slide back and create this crazy wall that's like on the go. Imagine Donald Trump would be psyched. <laughs> on the go. Yeah. Like an aerial drift yeah. wall. Well, that'll be definitely interesting to see here, and I really like uh, Prodom's strategy here. He's getting hit by a little too much residual, but doing the best he can and definitely making sure to play solid footsies. Oh, and also the one special for side B from this Gunner is the uh, the PK fire slash arc fire-esque yes, detonating right. projectile, which I think is really good. Mm -hmm. Like, the 1-1-1-1 one, 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 one set for this character isn't so bad at all. Uh, you get, you know, charge shot and that side B. That's pretty much all you need. Ooh. Always love a good duck in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Some foie gras. Yeah, you know. Oh, tries to forward smash the ball back. But that's one thing about that move, right? The soccer ball. If you hit it back, it's great because you can hit Wii Fit Trainer with it. But that also tempts your opponent to press buttons. And yep. if the Wii Fit Trainer plays around it, you can get some creative stuff. And also, you know, you get, oh, wow. What? Really? All right, yeah, and you know, yeah. this is kind of a dangerous situation because this is such an even matchup, and Proton is supposed to be the carry for Brooklyn College. Unless, um, not the Lucas in the down back yet, is. though, you know, still hanging out underneath 80 and definitely seeming to be on the up and up with this uh, range game that these two are playing right now. But as I say that, here we go. Yeah, like, it's just unfortunate that he got paired up with another zoning character who's just mm -hmm. going to be able to trade back and forth. Whereas maybe if this was. Oh, and he gets the reflector. I almost said the shine. Yeah, right they, it looks exactly like it, just a much larger version. I definitely could see that much, but McNasty definitely caught off guard there, and a huge opportunity now for Proton to start uh, putting a work in here to Yo, build back. When you reflect We Fit Trainer's neutral B, it's the sunshine. Oh, oh what? He did that? That was, that was crazy. There you go. I feel like that was just like he tried to block it, but it was a little too late, but it just came out looking real cool. Okay, he's got to grab. I believe that's down throw to up air. I really never seen me Gunner get played at all, but I don't think. Yeah, the back throw I, I'm definitely upward. at a loss right now. This is all new news for me. 
Yeah, this is just a treat to see these characters get played in, you know, a competitive setting. And still playing it out completely properly. Playing the coming to me game, sitting here, hanging back, just building up. Look wow. at this. Look oh, like Melee Luigi right, right now. These are some wave lands, all basically. over the board. Oh, oh, get that out of my face. There we said. go. Oh, puts one in the wall to try to go for a wall spike, yeah. perhaps. Oh. That recovery is so mediocre, though. And that was rather, yeah, yeah that was a, a very rough scenario, it seemed like. Yeah, you don't want to be me Gunner having to come back to the stage ever. It's, I'd say one of his weakest points or her weakest points. Ooh, so many shots on that up yeah. air, but it's not going to work out. And not that much shield pressure there either. I'm kind of surprised. But hey, there Speaking you go. Speaking of shield pressure, yeah, you got to hold block mm -hmm. against that forward smash for a long time. So many different shots come out of it. And, you know, if you're just looking for that quick shield and to grab or some kind of punish, you're not always going to be prepared to hold shield long enough. But okay, Proton now with the stock lead. I mean, this could be the start of a big comeback for Brooklyn College if Proton's Most able definitely. to take more off of his next opponent. But, but he has to preserve this one. It's still not over. McNasty looked like he was starting to mount a comeback there, but as of right now, Proton still in his head winning this mid range. This man is the god of the projectile game. Yeah, Look at him. He just has so many weapons in his arsenal, too. Well, literally. that's the beauty of the uh, the laser we're seeing right here. Just that little bit of distance back without any real down frames. You know, it's giving full ability to just completely keep sitting there and get a nice little reset on it. Ew, oh my goodness. That range was disgusting. Yo, I'm starting to think, honestly, man, that Me Gunner might be a top tier character. <laughs> like, I, I'm not even joking. Look at this stuff. I'm seeing some interesting. Oh, oh and that the might air be dodge it. Weed? Oh, wow. No, okay. Not quite. Good that DI. looks like it should kill at 60, yeah. man. I'm just saying, that's a devastating looking move. And so is that one. How do you get off the edge with most characters against And all that? the yeah, slight roll. movement backwards. So smart. Yeah, exactly. He's just able to drift the forward air. Wow, I'm surprised he didn't kill himself. Just because me Gunner's recovery no, is so terrible. was landing that yeah. angle. He's been doing a very good job of this. I like this, though. Potentially yeah. crossing up on the shield here, too. Exactly. It's like Melee Luigi, but he shoots a fireball and then waves land or wave lands. Oh, this is now, nuts. I hope he doesn't feel himself too much because I agree, you know, percent doesn't really matter, but straight projectiles are always a worry, so you got to be careful here. Yeah, exactly. You and get hit by a full sun salutation at 112 now, you're definitely done. Oh! Wow! That was so hype! Wow! That was so amazing! And just held it down to the absolute last second. A little touch of style there to go in with it. Oh, beautiful. We got the replay here. That was unreal. Questioned if it was a good play here, and then just great spacing, air dodge right into that up B. I thought this character's recovery was supposed to be tough. Covered that air dodge so well. Maybe Definitely taking advantage of that situational awareness. Very, very good. Maybe that's why he doesn't go anywhere from up. <laughs> it's actually a yeah. secretly devastating kill. Yet again, it's still learning. Wow, very strong knockback there. Wasn't even a spike, just outwards, too. Got him with, I guess, the back half of the hitbox, sending him directly out to the other side. Very interesting. All right, coming up for NJIT now on their third player. Oh. Whereas Brooklyn College is on their fourth. Yep. So it's already, you know, kind of an uphill battle for Proton. It. Yeah, but exactly. He took three stocks, only losing one in that mm -hmm. match. So as long as he can keep that pace going, if, he can actually bring us all the way back. If that's the formula, then we're looking good right now. Yeah, this we're looking at an even match. Yeah, this is gonna this is gonna come down to who they have left. And okay, but this is going to be. Uh, I didn't see his tag when he put it in. Oh, okay. It is. Yeah, I was going to say if it's Lucas, it's definitely mm -hmm. Swagmaster. Yeah. All right, Swagmaster. McNasty Bring the swag. Swag yeah, McNasty, Master. Swagmaster. This is a hilarious team. XD. Yeah. That's my reaction. It's XD too. Their team. Roster. Team serious. Or, Clearly, team names. serious. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, they are looking serious. Oh, they were definitely. At least CSMS. That's what I mean. You know, don't don't question it. They got the names to leave you thinking that they're just joking yeah. around. But there's no games with these ones. Yeah, I'm really curious as to like the formula of these teams, right? Because we already saw CSMS do tons of work, but now that he was off the sticks, they just lost three stocks, only taking one in the process. So was CM CSMS like a strong player to start off with? Like, was he one of their best, or did they just kind of test the waters with him? And there are even stronger players in the back. And then we're gonna have that that's 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 the question in the hour right now. We're waiting to see if it's answered right now. So yeah, we got to see what Swagmaster's up to. No interesting mix up here because we do know that Lucas can heal, but the question is, is it going to be a viable strategy with Me Gunner's ability to keep moving off of those projectiles? Oh, and Swagmaster looking pretty solid so far. This Lucas is kind of all over the place, moving with those aerials as Lucas is just so able to drift in and out. Amazing aerial mobility on this character. 
okay. Gets a dash attack. Kind of a rarely seen move because it's got a tiny hitbox mm -hmm. and it's slow, but it exists. It is in his, his moveset, so you got to watch out for it. Clearly an option right there, as we saw. Proton playing with fire Whoa. with this recovery, but Swagmaster living up to his name. And right there, with absolute precision, measured it up, checked the wind, and made sure to just slam dunk him. They're up nine stocks to four, man. Honestly, CSMS already paved the way for a pretty easy fight for the rest of this team. As long as they can just keep up pace, they're going to win it. Without question. And right now, Swagmaster... Not even going for the Yeah, heels. I was going to say, no no attempt to uh, absorb at all there. There's honestly no reason not to go for it in that situation. But, okay, Protom is keen to it, though. He's not just going to let that happen for He's free. He's starting to figure it out. Man, look at that. That is crazy, the hitbox that you are getting on that it PK is. fire, arc fire, S oh, projectile. The and there snipe. it is. Wesley snipes in the building. <laughs> and look at Protom drifting across these platforms like some kind of sick melee ice it's climber <laughs> Luigi Mewtwo <laughs> Hybrid. at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what is going on. Okay, he's getting these combos that he's saying, I'm not afraid of the heals, man. And honestly, I'm definitely finding his placing. It's just at the same point right now, definitely having a, a hard fought battle in, the, in, these, in these footsie situations right here. Once it's not in the air, Lucas has taken over. Man, man. back to that mid. Proton's still gonna have. Oh, oh a crucial then, heal. And that's a lot of lost work right there. It is, especially when you're a character that really just gets your damage by going for stuff like that, you know? You are pretty much bound to getting your projectile chips here and there and taking them, but if it doesn't. Oh, you know what? I just saw something he did. He used the shine to turn around mm -hmm. in the air because you can turn around yep. when you're in it. And he shot the forward air to propel himself forward. And that was all off the momentum of the laser, too. So, like you said, yeah, that's that very. Saying, yeah. yeah. Wow, this character is so tricky. Yeah, again, using shine turnaround to forward air. And I'm sure the ledge cancel options are even more ridiculous, too, to be quite honest, because he's been just going all across the stage with this. But at the same point, ooh, he actually got caught by that. The Miis have a uh, longer get-up animation than all the other characters in the game. So it, you actually have to time your punishes on their stand-up differently. Okay, and if Proton can get the stock here, that's a big swing. And it's really a big loss if he doesn't oh, get it. Oh, and that might... Oh, oh. just back thrown. That would have been a stock. Exactly. Easy. Now, a uh, touch of the deer in the headlights. And right now, Proto, I'm going right back to just hanging back. He is not going to press for anything. Swagmaster definitely going to be kicking himself if he drops the stock here because he knew it should have oh. been over. Ooh. And there it is again, just like you said. <sighs> wow, okay. Another Caps opportunity here. But yeah, that barely does any knockback, so he's going to have to really earn his kill. That's how this character oh, works. Oh, oh. And so slippery. Yeah, how is this man just shooting away? And wow, he hasn't gotten a single one full charge, but now that it's full, that's a killing machine. It's crazy how, like, the well, 90... Is that going to be it? No. Oh, wow. I don't even know what that up throw looks like. <laughs> I didn't even know me going to have an up throw. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that or what its choices were. I think Proton doesn't care because even if he gets a kill, oh, oh. A heal at 170. Oh, here my we go, goodness. shine wow. forward air. I there love it that. Is. That's so cool. <gasps> Just missed it. Oh my God. Still How back. Is he getting back. Oh, oh no way! Yeah. Oh, across the stage, it actually killed him. You never see people die to Lucas's, but Proton oh. not able to take that one last and stock. I, I felt that in the pit of my stomach. That's one of those ones that went absolutely to the wire. There was. There was nothing held back. They, those two threw everything they had. Okay, and now actually we're going to have a Lucas Mirror match. There we go. As Force Guy and Fresh, because I don't want to say how his name is actually yeah, yeah. pronounced. <laughs> uh -oh. Going up against Swagmaster, so two very strange, kind of funny tags. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's what we're looking at. We're looking at Lucas Mirrors, and we've got three stocks to eight on the board. So, I mean... Mr. Fresh must be pretty good if they're saving him for last, right? That's they, they better hope that he's. That would good. be the generalized thought process here. But as we've seen, there have been a lot of strong factors that have come out throughout these battles. So it's a toss-up as to what we're going to be thinking. But I mean, when you see eight to three, though, like yeah, this is true. Yeah, it's looking real good for NJIT. They just have to get the job done. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So, yeah, not a matchup you see every day, for sure. Uh, well, I know Devin just showed a lot of hype for that Lucas Ditto. He's been waiting to see it. He saw it. He didn't know if it was going to line up, but here it is. Thank his lucky stars. Had a little tussle. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know? a little, little kindergarten fight. Someone knocks someone else's lunchbox out of their hand. It's serious I now. I pick the playground. You scratch my Transformers lunchbox. Yeah, that's definitely what's going see? on right now. You know, serious. You pulled my rope snake's tail. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You jerk. 
<laughs> you ate my nutty bars. <laughs> Coming after you. All right, so uh, I, I just got to say, man, this guy's Lucas better be on fire. <laughs> better this be, has to be the most serious. The most fire the Lucas of 2016. Lucas. Yeah. yeah. Redefining fire. Yeah, I want to see some PK Fuego. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but if he can't bring the PK Fuego, then sorry, better Brooklyn find College, the door. Going better find the door. Good thing. Better hey, find hey, the blast zone. At least Get out of here. At least we're in Brooklyn, man. They yeah, don't, they don't have a go, right? home, Nope. You know so, yeah, it's it's not looking good for them, unfortunately. <laughs> but hey, man, there's always next year, right? That's that's how it's that's what that's gonna be the only words left if this is how it goes down. So right now, all right, at the clutches, the grips of their of their collegiate life right now. Yeah, so it's eight to four uh, in favor of NJIT right now. All right, eight to three. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I don't even know the numbers. Yeah. So eight to three for Sky and Fresh. Yeah, there you go. No, 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 no. It's uh, for Sky and Fresh. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Esports. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. Here it is. We start off with the Zare Wars there it spacing is. and Mr. Fresh. I'm just gonna call him Fresh. Yeah. Okay. Getting the better of the first few exchanges, it seems. Actually, no, not even. He was actually down in percent, but... Oh, he's just throwing these smashes. Just feeling each other out right now, yeah. trying to see who's going to get in. Saying, if you're going to throw a PK fire at me, that's getting sent right back. Oh, what? <laughs> Lucas's grab. I mean, even after a couple buffs, it's still just a little bit... Mm, not so great <laughs> of a move. But if Fresh can get through... Uh, Swagmaster here, and then he takes on XD and Ice Trophy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know how good those players are. That's the the mystery of the collegiate, right? You don't really know the general skill of any of these players because they're they're not tournament mainstays. So it's still a toss up as far as I'm concerned. But he has to remove these two stocks. That's that's the first order of business, and he really should hold on to both of his or all three of his in the process if he wants to get. I a mean, toss. he's got to be listening. Off to a great start, tears that one clear out, only taking fifty percent, looking fresh. And I think <laughs> that this one right now is spot on to be the anchor for this team, as this Lucas Ditto is very one sided. Ah, uh, not quite that one sided so far, though. I mean, a couple grabs could tie things up here. <gasps> oh, is he all dead? right. Nope. Another opportunity, another chance here. Oh, the oh. stall. Is that an SD? That was an SD. Wow. And look at that. Caught him so eager. So eager. And played it out completely properly. Did not even come close to throwing out that PK Thunder 2. Well, all right, man. Fresh getting it done. Yeah. Three, three to six. Now it's not the tag so doing bad. him justice right now. So we see him go through another set like that. And we could end up going all the way to the finals here, making an absolute nail biter. If we get down to last player versus last player, that's pretty exciting, especially so he's after going to be serious. Yeah, after serious what a serious, shutout you know? the first matches were. <laughs> CSMS that was, that literally was pretty. That was that was unbelievable. And man, it's not going to stop. Next up, we've got Montgomery versus Stevens, two returning teams Ooh. who have done pretty well. They're the second and third seeds today. Um, also, the winner of this match is going to go on to fight top seed NYU next. Oh, yeah. So we've got. Lots of fun. A lot on the up. line right now. Okay, here's XD with the Jigglypuff coming out. Now Just watched like 25 yeah, episodes exactly. of Naruto Shippuden. <laughs> Just 110% about this right now. Okay. Man, this is uh, this is almost down to the wire. I'm just really not sure how Jigglypuff is going to be able to hold on through these what matches. What a set of matchups. You know, I'm sitting here and I'm just doing my best to really offer what I can, but this has definitely been new territory for me. I mean, I've seen this in friendlies and certain things like that, but definitely not in a, in a situation so serious. Yeah, and the only high-tier character on this roster <laughs> is Fox. Is Fox. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that, is, that is so... That is so great. If they I, get this like, done with the, the Motley yeah, crew of Little Mac, right. Wee Fit, Jigglypuff, Lucas Fox, the Scrapings, the, the, the new Team Star exactly, Fox, budget, right? budget Team Star Fox. <laughs> okay. Jigglypuff Fox and his goons. goons. Yeah, goons right. Goon squad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Assemble! I, I can't say I've ever seen this matchup, even in like the millions of random dittos that I've played in my time. I don't think this one's ever come up. And this is this is going to be 110% aerial space battles. I, I really don't think we're going to see much groundwork at all. I think this is simply going to be who can string and who can counterplay straight out of the air. Because yeah. as we see already... I agree. Uh, neither of these characters are exactly renowned for their prowess on, on the floor. Not really great dancers, but mm -mm. they're great jumpers they for sure. They got some footwork, it's just in the air. You yeah, know? exactly. <laughs> 
Jigglypuff literally only has footwork and a little bit of pounding. And outright even thus far, but Jiggly has to be careful, you know, falling into a very light uh, tier of weight. It's yes. not going to be, this is this is a battle that, while it looks even really not so much, especially with Lucas, with some of Lucas's raw knockback. Exactly. She's pretty close to down throw up air percent, and also definitely in the range for any of Lucas's smashes to just completely eviscerate a stock. Oh. Fresh looking for one right now, but and not going to find it. As we saw from Fresh before, opted for back throw pretty consistently because <laughs> those back airs have been real, and oof, I don't think Jiggly's going to have another one of those shots in her. Yeah, no, nah, she pretty much only lived that because she was dead center stage. Otherwise, that forward smash would have immediately taken care of her. And yeah, once Jigglypuff gets on the ground, things get hard for her, but XD finding a way in with the short hop air dodge into Nair. Oh, the deep chase! Is he going to live? Lucas's recovery is big. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Taunt online. Oh, is he going to catch him? Dash attack, actually one of Jigglypuff's surprisingly powerful moves, and yeah. he's going to follow the PK Thunder. So very smart there. Two stocks to six. XD still holding things together, man, on this first stock. Jigglypuff is light. And so. very well aware, you know, as, as rough a situation as it is for Jiggly, Lucas in no great shape as Jigglypuff can do very good at harassing Lucas's recovery. Yeah, a really fast character in the air like that. Just see her go deep, no fear really. She can yeah. always get back to the stage. That lack of rage right there, definitely. Uh, would say, oh, oh, the dunks, the but triple there we dunks. Go. Okay, Fresh still holding on here. If he gets away only losing this stock here and takes the other two in succession and goes on to take on uh, Ice Trophy, mm -hmm. I mean, there's still a chance. Two versus three, not impossible. One versus three, really, really, really hard. And XD playing that they playing that role right now. Yeah, exactly. You know, second before last, so smart. Already got peeled one stock off, keeping it a very close fight. Even if you don't end it, as long as you minimize that stock count, period. That's really important because Jigglypuff at the same point as we know, definitely not a well-renowned character. So whatever she can get done is gonna be accepted on this team. Yeah, and plus <laughs> we're talking like there's no shot that uh, this man XD is just about to take this match. It's still yeah, certainly possible. Oh, of course. Finish oh. The job. Ooh, going again. Trying to stick his hand in the edge guard cookie jar. Oh, ooh, crosses there up the is. down smash. And yeah, this Everyone's is stock away. the last stand for Sky and Fresh right now. Oh, is he going to live? Yes, he is. He's willing to overextend all the way on that other side of the stage. Not a bad decision. Lilad giving as, an advantage to Jigs right there. As long as oh, Jigglypuff can use her mobility to go. avoid kill moves. Well, she didn't do it just there. But yeah, as long hey. as she can avoid the kill moves, she just has to hang on to these stocks. Her weight won't be such a factor, but here we Definitely go. Definitely can abuse this stage pretty darn well too. It's like you know, all that aerial mobility, all that ability to just you know cross up on shield, along with stage tilts. Definitely can add to very odd situations. Yeah, this is just such a gimmicky stage. So many players dread ever playing oh. on it. Oh, this man! No, oh. he went way too deep. He was too brave right there. Oh man, threw down as hard as they could, but NJIT. Coming out the victor. Yes, Brooklyn College gonna fall, unfortunately, in the first round of the day. So NJ 